hello guys welcome back to get your tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix or how to fix the game is not installing on your xbox app or microsoft store on your windows 11 and how we can completely fix this app and if you are for the first time to our channel then don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification so let's move to the workarounds so we have to try out this step one by one so the first one is all about it is all about you have to log in with the same account on your microsoft store as well as on your xbox app that is what you have to do so i'll be going over here and i'll be searching for store in the same way i'll be going over here i'll be opening xbox also so as you can see that right now i'm on the xbox as well as on the microsoft store here on the microsoft store i have to make sure that the store i have signed with this particular email id which is sahalps645 at gmail.com in the same way i have to go for xbox and i have to make sure that i have signed with the same so if i haven't signed with the same email id the next question is all about i have to sign out with the respective one and i have to sign in back with the sahalps645 at gmail.com email id so that both the accounts are having same so uh, same email id so that i have signed with this is what i have to do even after trying those if it's not is the issue is not fixing then i just have to move to the next one next one is all about make sure parallel with this one i have to make sure the date time time zone and regions are completely correct that is what i have to do so right now as you can see here the date and time are correct so even i can go over here i have to do in this way as you can see i have all set so and also you can go over here in the settings and also you can do over here on the time and language and you can go over here date and time and now as you can see set or time automatically has to be turned on this is very important if this is turned off you'll be having the trouble vice versa so this is very important this is what you have to do so this is the first basic step which you have to try out moving to the next one is all about you have to uh, you know after trying this you have to try with not installing from xbox app you have to go for store for example if you're on the xbox app and trying to download a game but if it's not working then you just have to close this or minimize this one and navigate to store and try to search the same game and try to download and install in the same way and vice versa if you're trying to download something from the store and if it's not working then you just have to minimize this one and navigate to xbox and you have to go for the same so simultaneously if you try this out the issue has to be fixed which is the second step now we have to move to the next one next one is all about you have to uh, go for the next one which is all about you have to run a command in the powershell so uh, in order to run the command in the power so this is the command so i'll be giving this command in the description so you don't have to worry so what you have to do is just have to go over here and you have to search for windows powershell okay so here it is windows powershell run as administrator go for yes now i have to paste the command and i have to press enter so this process is going to take a little bit of time so we just have to wait for the respective one and once it is already done you just have to close this right you have to close this and you have to do a restart on a pc and you have to try whether you have to make sure that you are able to download the game or you are having any trouble with the xbox or microsoft store this is what you have to do now moving to the next one is all about you have to delete microsoft store or local cache files to do this just follow the instruction first one you just have to navigate to uh, the this pc over here you have to navigate to this pc open this one from here you just have to select the users you have to select the users so here are the users now from here this is my profile so this is the uh, user account so you have to select the respective one in your case you'll be having a diff different account so it depends on the name so uh, right now i have to open this one now from here what you have to do is i just have to navigate to app data as you can see i have to open app data from here there is an option called local so i have to open this one or else i have to go for local now so here as you can see i have to navigate to microsoft sorry uh, from here i just have to check for uh, either i have to go for roaming in the same way or else i just have to go for local over here in the local once i select with the local uh, i just have to go to microsoft right I have to go for either I have to search for uh, something packages as you can see I have searched with the packages now from here I have to scroll down so while I'm scrolling down I'll be able to find something with for example like AWK some uh, name with numerics for example you will be able to see 
now over here as you can see the microsoft teams underscore awk so this i have to i have to open this particular folder now from here as you can see i'm having local cache as well as local state so i have to delete the local cache this is the thing so i just have to delete this one so once i'm done with the deleting i just have to close this and i have to restart and i have to see and most probably the issue has to be fixed so this is what you have to do so now we just have to move to the fifth step fifth step is all about we have to repair or we have to reset the xbox app same way as well as the microsoft store so what i have to do is i just have to go over here so here as you can see i have recently searched microsoft store as well as xbox so i'll do with the xbox first one so you just have to right click and i just have to go for app setting now over here in the app setting as you can see if you scroll down uh, you will be able to find over here in the reset under reset we are having two option repair and reset i have to go for both so i have to do the same and i just have to wait for a couple of minutes so that this has to be fixed simultaneously i have to search for microsoft store okay so this is done with the xbox so i have to go over here now and right click on the microsoft store and go to app setting from here i just have to scroll down okay from here i just have to scroll down under reset we have two option go for repair and go for reset right once it is done i just have to wait for a couple of minutes and i have to see whether i am able to fix the issue even after trying this if it's not working then i just have to move to the next one next one is all about i have to update the xbox app or microsoft store from the library so in order to do this i just have to go over here i have to open microsoft store for the first i'll be showing you with this one once i done with the opening the microsoft store i have to go over here in the library over here at the bottom and there is an option called get update so i just have to go for get update so that i'll be getting the respective updates okay simultaneously you have to go over here in the for the xbox app also you just have to go over here simultaneously you just have to wait for it and you just have to update the game right so uh, in the simultaneously over here in the my library over here so we just have to check whether you are able to get any kind of updates so you just have to do the updates right so these are the steps which you have to try out now <coughs> now we just have to <coughs> sorry now we just have to move to the next one next one is all about we have to uh, go for the next one which is all about we have to start all the services for example we have to start the services like following one so i'll be go over here in the search and i'll be searching for services okay so i'll be opening this one from here i just have to find each one the first one is all about i have to navigate to ip helper so i just have to scroll down okay here as you can see ip helper i have to right click and i just have to go to properties and this being set into automatic i have to make sure this is set in automatic go for apply and go for okay simultaneously i have to go for xbox live i have to go for xbox live xbox live oath manager so i just have to right click go to properties set this to automatic go for okay simultaneously i have to go for xbox live gaming save i have to make sure this is into ma manual so change this to automatic go for start then i just have to go for apply and go for okay simultaneously i have to go for xbox live networking service properties i have to change this to this one go for okay simultaneously i have to do this so these are the things which you have to try out close this and you have to navigate to store and you have to check even after trying this if it's not working the 10th step which you have to try out is all about you have to update your windows that is what you have to do which is basic one so you just have to go over here and navigate to uh, settings i'll be searching for settings so over here in the settings i just have to go for windows update now from here i have to check for any kind of updates if i'm having any kind of update just run the particular update that is what i have to do now this is very simple and you know this and moving to the next one we have following command next one is all about you have to go for run w reset command so here i just have to go and i have to type w s reset right so i just have to open this one so you'll be getting a black box wait for a couple of minutes or hardly seconds this will be disappeared and this will take you to microsoft store from there you can download the respective game without any issue that is what you have to try out sometimes this has to be worked right you just have to wait for it and once it's completely disappeared from the desktop you will be taken to the microsoft store and you will be able to download the respective game moving on to the next one is all about sometimes as i said earlier in many videos sometimes by doing a simple restart by doing a simple restart 
the issue has to be fixed right so doing a simple restart is sometimes is one of the easiest way to fix the bugs in our computer so what do you have to do is i just have to go over here as you can see the black screen disappeared and we are on the microsoft store search for the respective game and download simultaneously as i said earlier you have to do a simple restart and you have to check whether you are able to fix something this has to be fixed this is very important and last and the least one is all about you have to update the windows using media creation tool that is what you have to do you have to update the windows using video creation tool so i'll be giving a link in the description should to take you to this so you just have to download and install and most probably after trying these steps the issue regarding the microsoft you are not able to download the game from microsoft store will be completely fixed and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out hello guys welcome back to the show tips and in this video i'm going to talk about how to fix game is freezing and stuttering when you're trying to play on your windows